Look at the little baby frog. Isn't it cute? Welcome back, everybody. And today at Believe Homestead, we will be working on our passageway garden after me trying to get the chicks out of their coop so that they can get some fresh air outside the garage. <laughs> they didn't want to come out for a very long time. Let's get this party started. All right, I have a few sips of coffee in my body. <clears throat> and we're gonna start getting this area cleaned up. Get out like the poisonous weeds that nobody wants to use. We'll leave the violets because they're pretty and I like them. Get the path cleaned up, get the temporary fence down because the dogs now know not to go here. And get our stuff planted. Okay, I was going to clean up that big pile of leaves, but I think there are bees nesting in there, so we're just gonna leave it alone. One, we need the bees, and two, I'm not getting stung to crap. So, it gets to stay there for a while until spring is over and they do their thing and they go swarm somewhere else. All right. So I'm gonna get the path done next. I got that kind of cleaned up. <laughs> I don't want to put a whole bunch of weed killer around here because we want to use these herbs. So this is just going to be manual for the rest of my life. This is why we double check. That looks very similar to what I am looking for. It's called jewel weed, but it is not. And we don't want to mix those. I thought this would be a good place to toss in here what jewel weed is used for. So we have a ton of poison ivy on the edges of our property, which a forest does to protect itself. However, as a human being, I don't want poison ivy and jewel weed grows next to it. It's also known as touch me not. And that jewel weed, that touch me not plant is the antidote to poison ivy. So I have been searching high and low the entire property for jewel weed so that I can make sure it gets replanted and we can save it so that I can make a at home poison ivy salve for us <laughs> because we really have a bad reaction to poison ivy so we would like to keep that away from ourselves all right we have elderberry over here but i do want to plant some flowers this takes a fair amount of time where other places do not so let's do some calendula When I lived in the city, people would constantly ask me how I kept the stray cats away from anything I grew. So what I did was I planted catnip everywhere. <laughs> And this would attract the cats to the catnip, of course, but they would leave my other stuff alone. Catnip is actually really good for relaxation and calming you down. Where it may hype up a cat, it does the opposite for a human. So here I'm making sure to get the catnip planted in a good place so that it will thrive. And 
it is invasive just like most of the mint family so be careful where you plant it i need invasive species in this passageway simply because very little grows here as you can tell i'm trying to turn it into something that is useful however it has proven to be a little difficult so The guy here before us loved all types of rocks. So I gotta find a home for these. That makes sense. Put it in the rock garden. Here, we're going to do a few more. There are some bulbs in there, but that's it. And the battery, well, I'm running out of SD card. <laughs> so I will see you when it is done. All right, so over here we have planted some catnip, some calendula, and some lemon balm. So a little later in the day, and we got that finished and I drug a whole bunch of stuff back to the greenhouse, brought a whole bunch of stuff up, cleaned up, and we drug the chickens out front in the front yard. Which is not where they're going to stay, but I wanted to give them a little fresh air. They've been in that garage for a very long time. And I think it's, yeah, they needed to be out and about and stop pissing on my garage floor. Because that's where we were letting them run around and stretch their legs. And now I know why we call people chickens. They are scared of everything. These are strawberries that I do not believe survive. So I'm going to plant some nasturtiums in here and we'll get booted bones carrying their casket again. We're gonna go there because it's flat and I think I can get the stakes in the ground. Ta -da! Let's go get their stakes. All right, these are not the original stakes, but I'm gonna see if they fit through the holes because I like these, they stay forever. and bones are back over here we are planting in um, some bulbs so I grabbed my nifty little bulb attachment for my drill and I was super excited that it totally was working in this area there are a lot of rocks he made something really cool the previous owners did and once I get it all cleaned up which is taking some time it will get there it is so beautiful when you can see all the rocks and all the effort he put into this it is amazing so I am trying to get bring this back to life with some uh... <laughs> I kind of forgot what I planted y'all okay so we have black surprise gladiolas we have 
stargazer lilies and I will have to figure out what the others that were previous planted were because I forgot because that was over a year ago and then that big one right in the middle was there when we moved in and last year the dogs ate it before I could actually see what it looked like so this year will be a surprise because whatever that big one in the middle is we don't know what that looks like so I am super excited and stoked to see what color they decided to put there Thank you everyone for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And as of this video, we are at like 312 subscribers, which makes me super happy. So thank you all so very much. Please give this video a, a thumbs up, booping the like button, or leave a comment, subscribe if you so wish to, and I will see you on the next one. Have a blessed and magical day.